Now, this wire is creating magnetic field around it. But girls, the strength of this magnetic field is um, not very high. It's not like the, the strength of the magnetic field produced by a real magnet. So what can we do in order to increase the strength of this magnetic field produced? Okay, so maybe you'll think about the current. We in by increasing current amount or value of current that's correct we can increase the value of current therefore the strength of the magnetic field will be more the magnetic field will be stronger but this is not a safe way at all why because increasing the current like more than the safe le level can for sugars lead to uh, hazards or fire so that's why um, we need a better solution. What is it? This better solution is using something called solenoid. So what is solenoid? Solenoid, it is a wire, but it's not straight as you can see. It's not straight. It's just what? Wound into a coil. It's wound into a coil. So we have like many turns, many coils. This wire, which is wound into a, wound into a coil, is called a solenoid so what is a solenoid a solenoid is a long coil of wire um, why here the solenoid is better than a straight line because when we connect the solenoid to a battery to a power supply um, and the current flows in it so imagine girls how will the current flow now it will not flow straight as in a straight wire it will flow like this here then like this then it will continue like this then this so here in this like for example in this space the current is staying more okay it's not like just passing like in a straight wire so that's why here the magnetic field produced around this solenoid is stronger okay is stronger so the first way to increase the magnetic field just by increasing the current we can increase the current but it's not safe so what can we use instead of this way we can use solenoid what is solenoid solenoid is a long coil of wire okay by using a solenoid by using a solenoid for sure the solenoid should be what connected to a battery okay to a battery so we should have current inside it current flowing so it's a long coil of wire with current in it with current in it okay so a solenoid creates a stronger magnetic field around it a current produces much stronger magnetic field if the wire it flows through is wound into a solenoid coil so girls see now what do you expect what is the shape of the magnetic field now around this solenoid it's not concentric circles now we don't have just a wire okay and we have circles around no um instead we have um a long coil of wire and we said girls that the magnetic field here around it is stronger so it's somehow girls like similar to the magnetic field produced by a real magnet so what is the magnetic field produced by a real magnet if you remember from section one we said that the magnetic field produced by a real magnet is um like this here the lines are very close to each other this is drawing that i told you girls like practice it and here the lines are farther okay and near the poles so the lines are very close sorry, to each other because it's stronger here okay and what is the direction for sure from north to south you have to show the direction on each line okay so the magnetic field now around the solenoid is like the magnetic field shape around a real bar magnet okay so the field is similar to that produced by a bar magnet with, so it has North Pole and South Pole, but now you are not responsible to know which one is the North and which one is the South. It will be given. Okay. Number two, 
the strength of the field increases as the current increases so also here if more current passes through this long coil of wire if more current passes through this solenoid so for sure the magnetic field around it will be stronger what also how can we increase more the magnetic field around it um, also we have a useful way what is it the strength of the field of the magnetic field can be increased when the number of the turns or the loops increase when i add more turns more loops like i make more loops and i make like the loops closer to each other in this way um i increase the strength of the magnetic field around it okay so the solenoid is just a long coil of wire with current inside it how can we increase the strength of the magnetic field around it we can increase it by increasing the current or increasing the number of coils okay adding more turns more loops okay so now the magnetic field around it is better than the magnetic field produced around a straight wire but girls also i need now a better magnetic field and i need a stronger magnetic field what do you expect so now also we have another way i will tell you about it uh, after you watch this video moving charges that is a current create magnetic fields here i have a coil of wire with a compass in the middle and the two ends of the coil are attached to a battery, or rather will be when I connect up this other clip. Notice the compass needle aligns with the axis of the coil when the current is flowing. Okay, so girls, Moving charges, as you see that is a here, um, when he placed the compass inside, first it wasn't working because um the wires were not like connected to the battery but when he connected Current create magnetic the fields. wires here see? i have a coil of wire with a compass in the middle and the two ends of the coil are attached to a battery or rather will be when i connect up this other clip so when he connected the other clip as you can see the compass needle what changes direction and we said from the first section when the compass needle changes direction or deflects it means that what there is a magnetic field it can be like either created by a magnet nearby or by a current flowing okay so here the compass needle changes direction why because once he connected the other clip once he connected uh, this one and make a closed circuit so the current flows into this coil okay um so creating a magnetic field around it and this magnetic field around the solenoid it's actually what's causing the needle to deflect okay so i hope you understand it so it's very it's similar to the magnetic field produced by a straight line straight wire but here we are just using long coil of wire because it's better we are using solenoid because the magnetic field produced by it is stronger than the magnetic field produced by just a straight wire now also girls we want to increase more the magnetic field produced so we will just insert add an iron core inside this solenoid see the solenoid is long coil of wire inside it is empty okay so if we bring like iron core and put it here inside the solenoid this will give us a better magnetic field around this will give us a stronger magnetic field what is the reason because girls when you insert an iron core here this is the iron core okay 
Um, and here you have solenoid, right? Okay, and the current is flowing in the solenoid. So what do we have around the solenoid? We have magnetic field. Okay, we have field lines, we have magnetic field. Okay, you have magnetic field around the solenoid. And we know from the first section, when we bring an iron core, like or cobalt or nickel, any magnetic material, when we bring it like near a strong magnet or a strong magnetic field, it will get magnetized, right or no? Okay, so because girls here, the solenoid creates magnetic field around it. Okay, so the magnetic field, magnetic field MF, okay, the magnetic field produced by the solenoid, what is solenoid? Long coil of wire. The magnetic field produced by the solenoid, it magnetizes what? The iron core inside. Now, the iron core which is inside, it works exactly like a magnet. Okay? Initially, it wasn't a magnet. Iron, iron, it's not a magnet, you know. But here, when I place it inside the solenoid, when I place it inside the solenoid, which already produced a, a, a good magnetic field, okay, so this magnetic field will magnetize the iron, so the iron becomes magnet, so, and we know that around magnet, what do we have? Magnetic field, so, imagine, now I have the magnetic field, which is produced initially by the solenoid, and I have the magnetic field, which is produced now by the iron core, which becomes a magnet. So I have like two magnetic fields. They will add to each other, giving us a stronger and stronger magnetic field. Okay, so this device, we call it what? Electromagnet. When we insert a rod, an iron core inside a solenoid, the device, all of it becomes an electromagnet this device it's just like it works just like a magnet okay because the um now the magnet field around it it's strong enough such as a magnet the magnetic field of a magnet okay so an electromagnet consists of an iron core placed inside a solenoid the magnetic field of solenoid what will it do now it will magnetize the iron as well so, um, sorry, so the magnet becomes a magnet as well. The magnetic field of the iron core now adds to the magnetic field of the solenoid um, and thus creates a magnet that is stronger than the solenoid alone. Okay? Why this electromagnet is very important, this is a use about it. You know, girls, these when they use um, they use the electromagnets actually to pick up um, um, metals. Okay, so an electromagnet can be used to move large quantities of metal. It works when the current is on, but when we turn it off, it will not work as a magnet. It will just what drop all the magnet, all the all the iron. Or metals when you want to drop you just turn off the power and the electromagnet is disabled and the metal drops so pay attention you have current inside this device you it works as a magnet you don't have current inside it it doesn't work as a magnet it's nothing okay so today you learned about two important uh, um, concepts solenoid and electromagnet so solenoid is a long coil of wire um and the field produced by the solenoid it resembles the field produced by a bar magnet how to increase this magnetic field we can increase it by increasing the current itself but you know the current i can increase it to a specific limit i can't increase it too much 
okay to avoid the fire okay so or by increasing the number of coils or turns or by inserting an iron rod inside it and this is the most like useful way um so when we insert an iron core inside it it works as an electromagnet Hi everybody! In today's video I'd like to show you how to make a simple electric magnet. You may recall these experiments from your physics class or crafts lessons. So let's start. We will need a copper wire, some electrical tape, one AA battery, one nail, scissors and some pins for testing. First of all let's wrap the copper wire around the nail. Like that. Make the coil as tight as possible. Why here is making the coil as tight as possible? To increase the number of coils and to increase the strength. Of now cut off the excess. Now strip the isolation. Then connect to the contacts. Cut a piece of tape. And as it goes, 1 to the minus. And 1 to the plus. So now we made an electromagnet. We will check if it and works. And so we as get such an electrical magnet. Let's test it out. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave comments and press like. Thank you one more time. Bye. Okay, so uh, we can check, we can do this experiment. You can do it just by using a battery, um, uh, by using a, ba uh, uh, a nail. A nail here, it works as the iron core inside okay and by using a copper wire you just um, turn the copper wire you make as much as you can um, uh, coils okay because the uh, more coils you do okay um, here the stronger the magnetic field will be okay so and then it works as a magnet so if we don't have a magnet we can create it by just using electric current flowing through um, a, a solenoid and inserting an iron core inside the solenoid it means by using an electromagnet